For those of you that don't know that, your heels are gonna be together, your toes apart, knees pulling away from one another. You start here with your chest up, nice and tall, shoulders down, bring the knees together, drop down to a push-up position and extend the leg to the ceiling. Now right there is key because I need you to use your abs to pull your upper body up every single time you do a rep, okay? So you're up, drop, lift, push, up, drop, lift. You're going to have to use some balance and control here. And up. With this move, if you need to, you can lean back for the first few times until you really find your center here and the momentum with the move. You're gonna bring the knee into the other knee, your calf really into the back of the other knee, and you're gonna then extend the leg up to the ceiling as you lower your body down to the ground. So touch, pull, extend. And when you extend, the reason why you're taking your nose down to the ground is so that you can really take advantage of the angle at the top with your leg. So I don't want your leg down here. I want it up really, really high. Touch, pull, lift. Touch, pull, lift. Take this pause here to prep yourself to hit that angle at the top. Again, we're working our entire body. And you can do 30 repetitions of these. For the next movement, you're going to keep your knees together, bent onto the mat, and you're going to come down and put your weight over your left shoulder and hand, keeping it aligned. You're gonna dip your hips down to the ground, come up and extend the leg out to the side. I want you to pay attention to the fact that I'm waiting until I get my hips pulled up as high as I can before I completely extend the leg. And push. So I want some momentum there. Push. Good. Keep the knee facing forward. I want you to rock naturally. And you can do up to 30 reps of this move. Dip and lift. Good job. I want you to take your knees and point them in towards each other and separate your feet as far as you possibly can. We're gonna follow this inverted line with a leg lift. You're gonna shift your weight slightly onto the left shoulder and then at the same time lift your leg. When you lift your leg, follow that inverted line that you created. Point your toe, stay engaged. Because I'm having you place your hands on top of one another, this is going to require a different set of muscles to help balance you. Start out with five repetitions and you can work yourself up to 30. You're going to place the ball of your left foot down on the mat. You're gonna tuck your knee into your chest, let both knees bend naturally to the ground, and then extend the left leg straight and stretch your right leg up into the air. Now, do you see how my hip is opening? I want you to try and keep the hip down. So it's a real butt lift at the top, not so much a stretch. Bend and lift. Great job, you can do up to 30 of these. but I want your feet to be slightly separated. What you're gonna do is follow that same diagonal movement that you did from the beginning with your left leg so we hit the same spot in your glute, but you're going to lift the opposite arm to the side. So lift and place. Try not to let everything fall down to the ground, okay? I want you to control it up, pause, control it back down. Here we go. One, two, Shift your weight slightly over the right shoulder as you tighten everything and lift. Four, five. 